Hi, my name is Shweta from Key Manager Plus. In this video, I'll walk you through the entire process of managing certificate life cycles. Now that Key Manager Plus is integrated with Let's Encrypt, the renowned Open Certificate Authority, you can acquire SSL certificates for your domains, deploy them on domain servers, renew them periodically, and track their expiration dates directly from Key Manager Plus. Let's dive into the process. Here is the login page for Key Manager Plus. If you are using Key Manager Plus to acquire certificates for your domain for the first time, you will need to create an account with Let's Encrypt before getting started. Once you've logged in to Key Manager Plus, click on the SSL tab and select Let's Encrypt. A pop-up will open, instructing you to create an account with Let's Encrypt. Press OK. Then go to New Registration. Provide a username, email address, and accept the Let's Encrypt subscriber agreement. Now click Register. You're now successfully registered with Let's Encrypt. The next step is creating a certificate signing request. Navigate to the SSL tab and select Let's Encrypt. Then click Certificate Request. Once the certificate request form opens, fill in the required details such as domain name, key algorithm, algorithm length, signature algorithm, key store type, and key store password. Let's Encrypt issues certificates that can protect up to 100 domains, so you can enter up to 100 names in the domain name field. For each entry, the first name listed becomes the common name, while the rest are considered subject alternative names, or SAN. After filling in the details, click Create to generate your certificate signing request. After generating the certificate request, you will be redirected to this window, which displays the challenge files and the required path. The next step is verifying the challenge files issued by Let's Encrypt. Let's Encrypt issues a set of challenges which you have to fulfill in order to procure a certificate for your domain. These challenges simply prove that you own the domain. To validate your domain, you need to place the challenge file provided by Let's Encrypt in a specified path on your domain server. To automate the verification process, you need to have agents configured for your domain server. If your domain server runs on Windows, you will have to download and install the agent before verifying the challenge files. To do that, click the Agent Mapping icon and then click Manage. Switch to the Windows Agents tab and download and install the agent from here. If your domain server runs on Linux, you can connect directly by providing the server details. After you've installed the agent, click on the Agent Mapping icon once again. A pop-up will open, asking you to provide the agent details. Choose the type of agent and fill in the required information. While specifying the path, give the exact location where your certificate needs to be stored in the domain server. Keep in mind that agent mapping is a one-time configuration. You don't have to provide these details every time you deploy a certificate on your domain server. Once you've filled out the agent mapping information, click Save. Now double check that the challenge files were successfully deployed on your domain server. Once you've navigated to your domain server, look for the challenge files in the specified location. Once you've verified that the challenge files are in the right spot, head back to the Key Manager Plus server. Now back to the Key Manager Plus server. Click Verify. Once Let's Encrypt verifies the challenges, it issues a certificate for your domain. Click Available and save the certificate. The certificate is saved to Key Manager Plus's certificate repository. Now you can see the certificate in the Certificates tab. Now go back to the domain server once again. Let's check if the certificate is present in the appropriate path. There you go. You can see that the certificate and the private key, along with the key store file, are in the location you specified during the agent mapping process. You're almost done. If you're sure that you have your certificate in the correct location on the domain server, then all you have to do is restart your domain server. Your domain is now SSL secured. Next, let's go over how to renew certificates. 
Certificates issued by Let's Encrypt are valid for 90 days, which means they need to be renewed every three months. Key Manager Plus does this automatically for you. To manually renew a certificate, select the certificate and click Renew Certificate. You can check the various versions of the certificate under the Certificate History option. If you want to revoke a certificate, select the certificate and click Revoke. The certificate is then revoked and becomes invalid. I hope this video has given you a basic idea of how to obtain SSL certificates and manage them using Key Manager Plus. So please go ahead and give the trial version a shot and contact us if you need any assistance. The support email address is displayed. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.